Eight complete strangers will be split into two teams in a test of skill and stamina. And with no idea of what lies ahead, they'll have to live, work, and compete together if they want to win the ride home. Yes, blue team, Mark, red team, and Anthony, blue team, go! Eric designs robotic equipment. He also makes car and bike parts in his machine shop at home. His mechanical skills should come in handy. Congratulations, guys. Nice. Good work. Nice. An outstanding comeback for the blue team, who, despite their one minute delay, stormed past the Reds. Excellent navigational skills and teamwork proved a winner. And now it's time to make their way over to the Forge. Okay, blue team, you took the checkered flag in the key challenge. You are first in the Forge. You get one minute, okay. three items. Okay. Your time starts when you turn that key. Okay. Go ahead. Eric's hobby is buggy building, so it makes sense for him to go into the forge for the blue team. If anyone can spot a gem in here, Eric should be the man. A uh, radio, a, f a foot pump. He has the foot pump and seems to think that trashing the place is the best way of looking. What is there, a frat party going on in there? Funnel, a go-kart seat. Get the go-kart seat. His teammates may want the go-kart seat, but Eric's not interested. Time's running out, guys. Only seconds left. Eric's decided against the seat in favor of the handlebars. <laughs> All right. All right, you're out of there like the flash. What's going on? What did we get? All right. Uh, got a bicycle pump. Uh, we're probably going to need to adjust tire pressures for the sand. Okay, bicycle uh, pump. Let it out. That's our steering wheel. Steering wheel. And a big box of miscellaneous bits out of which we will weld everything else. Big box o bits always right. comes in handy. Yep. All right, good job. Let's see what kind of leftovers you left red. Switch All right. them up, guys. Okay, good. It's a long day ahead for both teams because their second day on Experiment Island isn't going to get any easier. Let's hope the teams made the right choices in the forge yesterday because their challenge today is to design and build their dune buggies. Okay, guys, the main event is about to start. Right now, you know you have to build dune buggies to race in the final day. In front of you are all the materials you need to construct your dune buggies, including just enough diesel, and yes, they are diesel engines, to test them. Later on, of course, you will not be using diesel fuel. You'll be using cooking oil. And your dune buggies must be capable of carrying one driver. Everything you need to build them is here or in your workshop. <laughs> Although they have the raw materials, the challenge is putting it all together together and getting the steering and the drive mechanism right. They need to build their buggies with a gear ratio of 4 to 1, so the power from the engine doesn't burn out the clutch. If this happens, they'll be left smoking on the start line. That way we can get actually the ratio that we need to have. Mm -hmm. so now it's up to the teams to work it out as they plan and design their buggies in their first escape conference. The winner of today's challenge is the first team to drive their buggy through the courtyard and sound their air horn. Yeah. The, the belt will be our primary drive, right. and the chain will be our secondary drive. Right. Not here. For them. Seat we'll need cool. to work up a seat, which is just going to be simple plywood placed here and here. Don't forget our wheels. The clock's ticking. Finishing their buggies before nightfall will take every ounce of skill and coordinated teamwork. We've got our work cut out for us if we want to get this done in the time allotted. See how that's going to The Reds have the seat and may have saved themselves some time. That's going to go. Scooch up even more. All right. But they better work fast because Eric's on a mission to win, taking over in the blue workshop. Let me uh, turn the wheels from side to side. I think it's fine like this. I would put them both on top. With Eric's mechanical skills, the blue team may have the edge over the reds, who don't seem to know where everything should go. It's like building a big tinker toy. Yeah. Where the pedals go? Okay. Switching the wheels will put the reds even further behind the blue team. And tightening bolts is all they're getting to do. Since this is Eric's area of expertise, he wants to control everything. Technical adjustments, eh? Because the compression in a diesel engine is so high, the cylinder gets hot enough to burn even heavy oils. This will allow our teams to run their buggies on cooking oil later. Whereas the sparks in a gas engine wouldn't be hot enough. Sparks are flying in both workshops as they race to finish their buggies. With just a few hours of daylight left, the teams need to put a fire under it if they want to finish first and avoid a five-second escape penalty. The bolts are going to go in from the top, nuts go on the bottom. I get all the nuts in it. You're missing something, boy. Yeah! With their buggy finally up and running, all the blue team needs to do is drive through the courtyard and sound their horn to win the challenge. Blue 
team, congratulations. What a beast. You feel confident? Oh, yeah. 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 The red team work into the night, finishing off their buggy before heading back to the tents, where, despite winning the challenge, the Blues are not all happy campers. So they take time out from each other to talk about the day. Now, I'm not talking crap about Eric, but he'll know this much about something. But when he talks to you, he knows this much about it. My teammates may feel as though they have been excluded from the process by me, but the bottom line is I'd feel worse if we didn't have it done first and more importantly, have it done right first. Today, Eric was a bit overbearing and, and really, no, let me do it because I know I'll do it right. You know, it's, it's a race, it is a contest. Once again, good teamwork from the Reds, but Eric thinks he's at the drive-through. Snappy, uh, give me a cheeseburger, large fries, medium coke. Got it, thanks. And while Roxanne shows off her artistic talents, the red team has their own message for their opponents. Because we know second place is not an option. Anthony's used a similar process working on surfboards back home, and he's keeping a close eye on his teammates. All right, you just slid it open like a, uh, like a frozen dinner. Mmm, this smells just like home. Remind me never to stay at Eric's house. Yeah, right, that's so what I was saying. When I visit. Once the resin-soaked fibers are removed from the bag, they are sandwiched between glass panels where the resin will heat up and solidify. Tasty. Hey, everybody. The glass is cracking. Look. The heat from the curing process has cracked the blue team's glass, and that could be a problem. Is that going to affect our removal? It's going to be really tough to get it out. Right, it's really hot. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know. It's going to be a challenge. Okay, blue guys. What happened? A little glass accident? Yep. It got pretty hot. Ah. I thought it might have been a mirror. I thought Eric might have been looking into it. Yeah, funny guy. Yeah. Pretty hot? Yeah, yours isn't up to full temperature yet. Team Red's car is crap. Well, the only thing's left is to figure out who's driving a car. Yes. We have four bolts, same length. Two heads of the bolts are colored black. One boot has each of our names, and in the other boot has a task. It even says driver or cheerleader. The two people with the black, black bolts I drive. are the drivers. Clark, you're driving. Count of three, ready? One, two, three. A driver, and I have step. Yeah, all right, I got the black bolt! I got the black bolt! I went to Scotland, and I'm gonna drive a go-kart really, really fast! Although Eric seems confident, only one team will get to escape from Experiment Island. Who will it be, the Reds or the Blues? With the wet weather making driving conditions difficult, those fenders give the Blues an advantage, and Roxanne a clear view ahead. And as Roxanne goes off course, Clark has the chance to claw back valuable seconds. But as the buggies hit the water again, the wind and driving rain prove too much and cause the vehicles to bog down. All right, get in there. Help your teammates out. Go. Now it's up to the co-drivers to push the buggies back to the start where they can make that changeover and take on the second lap. Oh, no, Red's having difficulty doing the swap. Valuable seconds are lost as Stephanie has trouble buckling up, so the Blues take the lead once again. After Clark's powerful push-off, Stephanie's not giving up and accelerates down the beach, quickly making up that lost ground. Coming into the bend, the Reds take a fast corner, putting the pressure back on down the home straight. And having a lighter driver and bodywork seems to be paying off as Stephanie picks up speed. through the water, the red car almost flips, but Stephanie keeps control and edges her way back in front. And once again, the wet sand proves too much of an obstacle. The red's lighter bodywork helps their doom buggy to keep on rolling, and Stephanie stops closest to the finish line to snatch the victory.
big losers. We're just yeah. here on Experiment Island for a little while longer. That's right. That's right. Once again, we've witnessed a duel between two very determined teams. Once again, Experiment Island has thrown its own curveball into the mix. This time, it's rain. What's it going to be next time? Join us again for another amazing escape from Experiment Island.